Hello everyone, greeting you all a blessed day. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for His love endures forever. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for He is so good. The word says whatever you do, whether you eat or drink, do it all to the glory of God. It's my prayer that this Thanksgiving testimony would bring glory to the Lord and it shall uh, you shall be encouraged with it to trust Him with all your heart. Thank God for great is His faithfulness. Our mother reached her 80th birthday yesterday. Hallelujah! Praise you, Jesus! Despite many trials she had gone through since we were yet in the elementary grade. We have seen how the Lord has been with us, has been guiding our mother through the years. In addition, I thank God really for family, for family, for God has ordained family to love one another as He has loved us. Thank you for, I believe, every member of our family, relatives, had been praying for us. And I thank also for the body of Christ. For they, are, uh, they have been used also to pray for us. The body of Christ praying before and up to now. And we are a product of their prayer. Thank you, Lord God, for truly the Lord says, pray without ceasing. And uh, I believe whatever they have sown, they shall reap. And uh, until now, we thank the Lord for it is He who has uh, helped us in every way despite many trials. Last July, our mother was uh, confined at the hospital for uh, due to dengue fever. So at that time, I, I was really hesitant because of the pandemic. I don't really like to stay in the hospital. So in my heart, I was praying when we went for checkup, but then. The doctor said she should be confined because uh, she cannot eat and her fever is on and off. So they ought really to, we ought really to bring her to the hospital. Praise God, when we were there, uh, it's a miracle because uh, at that moment there was a vacant room. But that room was uh, a, ro a room for COVID patient, but then uh, we just said it's okay. For later, they said they, they will be transferring us to another room. In my heart, I, re I, I really prayed hard. I said, I really have to choose faith or fear. For there are many text messages saying, well, keep watch, you must be careful. There are so many negative uh, uh, texts, calls, but then I must choose to, I must choose faith instead of fear. Amen? So, uh, 
faith in the Lord Jesus, faith in His Word. And when I was there, I said, Lord, you have a greater purpose why we are here. And I really salute the children who are taking care of their elderly parents. Truly, it's a great reward to take care of them. For they have taken care for us when we were still a baby until, until when we were grown up. Hallelujah. He didn't only, Jesus didn't only uh, save us but from our sins, but He said in His Word that He has healed us by His stripes. So I stood firm on His Word. I said, Thank you, Lord. It is finished. You have done everything. When you were crucified on the cross, your blood has redeemed us from any curse of sickness and disease. As you have said in your word, you carried away. You took away every sickness, our every disease of our body. So be it to my mother. And I, I, I will really cry during the daytime and during the night time I even knelt beside the bed of my mother calling up, praying to the Lord for the for the sick people inside the hospital and even for the doctors, for the nurses, for the wisdom upon them and not only that the greatest thing is the Lord spoke to me intercede for them that they will come to know you they will repent and come to know you Come to know Jesus as the Lord and the Savior. I was reminded, as the word says in 2 Peter 3, that God is not willing that any should perish, but all will come to repentance and declare, believe in the Lord Jesus as his Lord and Savior, and he shall be saved. Hallelujah. So I have been crying out to the Lord. I said, Lord. Yes, this is your purpose. And I believe in the spiritual realm, even up to now, as the Holy Spirit is guiding me to intercede, pray, and we ought really to pray for the frontliners. Thank you, Lord, that something is happening inside of them. That they shall believe, that they shall Declare and believe Jesus as the Lord in times like this. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord. And I believe with all my heart, I can feel it in my heart, that um, He will continually guide these doctors, nurses, even as they are doing their job. They will do it, O oh Lord God, with all their heart. That uh, what the Lord has shown on the cross, His love that has shown on the cross will embrace them. And truly, they shall be blessed. Thank you, Lord God. One more thing, when I was there, I really decided that I should be strong physically and spiritually. So I, I ought to read my Bible, declare His Word, and believe it. And one time when I was praying, I was reminded of our memory verse, which says, Where does my help come from? It comes from the Lord, the Maker of the heavens and the earth. And I declared it with my mouth. and supernatural strength was uh, really burning inside of me despite the hardship despite the lack of sleep and thank God he is really true to his word and uh, the love of the Lord really was overflowing inside of me 
thank you thank you lord god i give glory to him for truly he was so faithful his word is true and i said you have said in your word we will be still and know that you are god you created the heavens and the earth and you are able you are able in every situation oh god hallelujah you will bless the giving of medicine fast recovery the healthy mommy health the hospital oh thank you lord god so i'm so very glad and last august glory to god my our mother was discharged and day by day she's recovering she can eat already by herself let us down call unto me and I will answer you that is his word come to me all who are heavily laden and I will give you rest and truly as we call to him he will help us as we call upon the name of Jesus he will save us that is his word and his word is truth and i'm so thankful that truly he never leave us nor forsake us as we put our trust in him <laughs> thank god really even for his provision thank you for my for the children of my mother for their families for the relatives who have been generous who have been praying also for our mother who who had been encouraging us in the hospital to the word of god hallelujah truly he is our jehovah Shama who is always with us our prince of peace I did never worry the maibayad I have that total peace in my heart that he will provide for it and true enough God has used his children just the same to provide all our needs and truly all comes from the Lord every perfect gift comes from him we don't own anything everything comes from him he is our jehovah jireh our provider thank you lord god Hallelujah. glory to god i then again give my heartful thanks for every family member, relative, whatever you have sown, you shall reap a hundredfold, I believe, in, in your prayers, in your giving, I believe the Lord will continually work and bless the work of your hands. Glory to God. Above all, greatest miracle that will happen in our life. I'd like to share this one. Is to surrender our life to Jesus. We will believe and accept Him in it. All have seen and fall short of the glory of God. But then it says in Romans 6 23, it says here that 
The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus. So remember, God made a way. When we have sinned against the Lord, as we humble ourselves to Him, 1 John 1.9 says, He is always faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from any unrighteousness. And because of this great love that He has said in His Word, in John 3.16, He says, For God so loved the world that He gave His only his one and only Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have eternal life. Hallelujah. It's so easy. We have to believe it and receive this eternal life. Oh, it's my prayer that the Holy Spirit will open your eyes of understanding that how great is this love that God has been bestowed unto us to his son Jesus that Jesus died for our sins oh and after three days he rose again and he is there at the right hand of our father interceding for us and to all who will call upon the name of the Lord Jesus shall be saved that is his word so right now it's really my prayer that you will open your heart. You just receive this great love in your heart. Yes. Jesus loves you so much. Jesus forgives sin, your sins. And then Jesus gives eternal life. So I would just like to lead you in a simple prayer. <laughs> the word of God says, as we confess with our mouth Jesus as our Lord and Savior, we shall be saved with all our Amen. This is a simple prayer. Receiving his great love. And I believe the Holy Spirit will continue in this You can just follow after me. Father God, how much we thank you for your great love that you have bestowed upon everyone to your Son. Whosoever will believe in your Son, Jesus, shall be saved. Jesus, I thank you for dying for my sins. I acknowledge I have sinned against you. Forgive me from any unrighteousness, any wrong thing that I have. ask for your forgiveness thank you Jesus for forgiving me and right now I open my heart I open my life I invite you Lord Jesus in my life in my heart be my Lord and be my Savior thank you Jesus for loving me and for forgiving my sins I believe you will be the one to reign upon my life from this day on forward. Thank you, Jesus, for loving me. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. That's a simple prayer only. But then, that is surrendering your life to Jesus. And continue to read your Bible as you read your Bible. Your faith will increase as it was it is written in his word it says faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God 
And I believe the Holy Spirit will guide you to a church where you will be encouraged through His Word just the same. Glory to God. And uh, I believe you have learned something from this testimony. You are blessed from this simple Thanksgiving testimony. Continue to seek the Lord through His Word. And continue to call upon His name. And you shall be blessed. You shall be greatly rewarded. Hallelujah. God bless everyone. Thank you.